Hello, today I'm going to show you how I made this card. We've got some new products in here from Stamping Up, so I'm really excited to get started. The Silver Soda Pop Tops are coming out in the Spring Catalog, as well as the You Rule Stamp Set and the Feel Good Stamp Set. So, very cool products coming your way. First thing I'm going to do is take a piece of four by five and a quarter Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to stamp my greeting right in the middle from left to right about that far from the top. Okay, then I've got my embossing buddy here and I'm going to wipe that over the area that I plan on embossing the crown on. I'm using Versamark ink and the crown from the new stamp set called You Rule. Got nice even pressure there. And then I like to use a piece of paper for my embossing powder. It's easy, I can throw it away when I'm done. So I missed a little part there. I always like to blow on it a little bit too. And just dump that back in there. We're going to use our heat tool to heat set the embossing powder. When you tip this in the light, you can actually see the embossing powder getting a glossy look. That means that it is done. So then you just keep moving across your image. Okay, very nice. Now another little technique that I used on here, it's kind of hard to see in the photograph, but I took my uh, Lucky Limeade marker and I wanted to add a little color to my crown. So it's got these white lines in it and I just colored with the marker to make them green. Now it looks a little sloppy, but because we've used embossing powder, the embossing powder after you've heat set it will resist the ink so you can just wipe it off like that and you've got very neat lines. Okay, next thing we're going to do is take a piece of Lucky Limeade cardstock and that needs to be two and a quarter by four. So I'm going to bring my paper cutter in here forgot to get that ready for you and cut that. I'm going to move this out of the way. We're going to put it in our chevron folder. You might notice that my chevron folder looks a little different than most. I cut the bottom off of it because it did not fit through the big shot this way and I sometimes like to run my stuff through that way. So I just cut the bottom off my folder. It doesn't hurt a thing, and now it'll do exactly what I want it to do. So we got this piece embossed. Get this out of the way. And then you're going to take the two and a half inch circle punch and center your piece in here. Now you'll notice that my circle punch is a little bit bigger than two and a quarter, of course, because it's two and a half, silly. And I wanted it that way. I did that on purpose. So that's a scrap, and these are the two side pieces we're going to frame our greeting with. I love the stamp set. I love the greetings that are in it. She believed she could, so she did. And this would be a really neat card to have on hand so that you could give it at a moment's notice to somebody who's gotten promoted at a job or, you know, one of your kids or grandkids that's just done really good on a test or, or you know, one in a track meet or anything like that. Okay, so there's our neat little frame. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is a new product in the spring mini catalog called Silver Soda Pop Soda Pop Tops. And these come in two different sizes. You've got your bigger ones and little ones. 
These are just adorable. Now you get 16 pieces, so you get eight of each in a container. And you could use them just like this, but I really like them when they're smashed down a little bit. And the way you're gonna do that is take your Big Shot and you're gonna open up both tabs on your Big Shot. We're gonna put our soda top between, of course, always use your cutting plates, between the cutting plates just like this. And we're gonna run this through our Big Shot and that's gonna smash the soda top down so that it looks like this. Isn't that fun? Okay, now of course what goes in there, but anything you punch with the one inch circle punch. So, I'm gonna grab a little scrap of Melon Mambo cardstock here, and we're gonna punch it out. And then you can use adhesive, liquid glue, anything you'd like to put this in here. And there we've got a perfect size for a little soda top. And um, I want to show you how I did this. I used markers on the U Rule stamp that comes in the U Rule stamp set. So I've got Melon Mambo and Lucky Limeade. And of course, after you use markers, you always want to huff. And we're going to just stamp that right down here. And then I took this and I just cut it out. It's easier to hang on to if you cut the two long lines first like that. And there's my U rule in colors that match my card. And I love liquid glue. The Tombow liquid glue is fabulous. So I'm going to use a little bit of that on these tiny pieces and glue them right onto the layer in my soda top. There we go. Another great little tip for you with this liquid glue is because it's liquid, if you leave it open for a while, sometimes it gets stopped up a little bit. I have an upholstery pin that I just stick inside the plastic packaging on it, and that's always there for me to use. So, once you get that done, we are going to use a dimensional because the back of the soda top is a little bit concave. We're just going to take a dimensional, push it right in the middle there, and that's going to go right on our card front. And then I have a little piece of our Melon Mambo dotted ribbon. And when I tie this, if you were to pull it and tie it like this, you're going to get polka dots on one side and plain on the other. I want polka dots showing on all mine. So what I did is I just took and twisted my ribbon, and now I have polka dots all the way around. Whoops. I'm so sorry. That was my cell phone. Forgot to turn that little bugger off. We're going to cut this with our craft scissors and put a glue dot on there, which I don't have out right now. Sorry about that. Then I adhered a bunch of rhinestones. I used the largest and then medium and smaller ones here. So how cute is this card? I can't wait for somebody um, to do something so I can send it to them. I've got two step kids in, a, in college, a, no, I'm sorry, three step kids in college, and my daughter Haley's in college, so I can't wait to be able to reward one of them with um, this really cute card. So the spring catalog um, items are available on January 3rd, and you can go to my website anytime and place orders or check out what I've been up to. I share a lot of projects on there. Thanks so much for stopping by.